ओके तो अ वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड हेलो फ्रॉम माय साइड माय नेम इज अहमद एंड आई एम योर ट्यूटर फॉर द एग्जाम डबल ए फॉर द जून 2023 अटेम्प्ट योर एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन 5th जून 2023 एंड देयर इज ओनली वन गोल एंड देयर इज ओनली वन थिंग इन माय माइंड and there has to be only one thing in your mind and that is we are not going to attempt the exam on 5th june rather we have to make sure we are going to secure it yes there is a difference between the two uh there are a couple of you know categories when it comes to students a who is just going to attempt the exam b who is going to nail it who is going to ace the exam and who is going to be so confident after the right after the exam that he or she will be so happy about his or her performance and he or she will feel so confident about the result that the student is going to take up the next challenge immediately without having any second thoughts regarding the result of the double a so uh just a quick confirmation from all of you am i absolutely crystal clear especially the voice quality are you all you know comfortable with it yes sir okay thank you that's great thank you janzeb okay so uh before we move on there are a couple of very important numbers right in front of you the first one belongs to me and i am mostly available on whatsapp i am pretty decent when it comes to the when it comes to you know responding and replying back to you so if you have got any concerns or any confusions uh regarding double a triple a or in general it, whether it's about any other exam if you want to have a discussion or any other confusion you can always contact me for that and the second number belongs to wifi uh this is their official number Uh, which is obviously available on whatsapp and if somebody wants to inquire something somebody wants to enroll in a particular subject or in a particular batch you are more than welcome over there as well okay uh before we move on um, a very quick introduction about myself well i am currently part of two very 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 important uh, learning providers the first one is called sbm which is a platinum alp approved learning partner by acca and it is situated in islamabad and it's a you know physical in campus classes the the traditional methodology of teaching acca students the second alp uh is none other than wifi itself and i am teaching couple of subjects over here number 1 double a number second triple a and by the way wifi has got gold on online alp status by acca and more just to just to highlight the fact that wifi is the only or for that matter first and only south asian uh, approved learning partner so we have got no competitor whatsoever and it is only possible because of the results which we have produced over the last 5 years or so because it's been 5 years wifi is in existence moreover if you got to realize the fact that wifi was not a makeshift arrangement after the covid it was an it was an idea conceived perceived and the inception was way before covid so you got to appreciate the this fact anyways so uh well uh i'm very fortunate and you know i'm i'm being very blessed that i was part of at least five acca practice to pass official webinar for both double a and triple a uh well overall my subjects are management accounting performance management and more importantly for you double a and triple a okay so what's next oh well uh, i need to add one more distinction in this list because in the last attempt i had another distinction anyway let's move towards the main agenda of the day and the main agenda is double a 
and i want one thing that anyone out there who is listening to me right now if you are going to be engaged for this paper called double a i just want to make sure that we will have a successful day on monday 5th june 2023 and i am super sure about it i'm absolutely confident about it that yes we can now the next couple of minutes are going to be quite contradictory why because a i'm going to highlight the fact that the pass rates of the double a all over the world are pathetic moreover i would also highlight the fact that the pass rates of double a in my part of the world for example in pakistan they are you know 50% more pathetic but on the other hand i am going to come up with a claim the the contradictory statement and that is the the paper called double a is the most easiest exam among the skill level papers okay now that's contradictory right at one point of time i am saying that the pass rates of double a are pathetic they are even you know they are extraordinarily pathetic when it comes to pakistan but at the same time i am claiming with all my honesty that the double a is the most easiest exam among the skill level papers now how can how is it how is it possible yes it is possible well let's look at the pass rates of double a uh, for the last four five attempts so it it pretty much pathetic 39 38 oh well 44 sounds great then 39 then 44 sounds great but again back to 40 and the march 2023 attempt is obviously uh till a month away now before i move on i want a little you know i want to raise a question over here is there anyone who who can who could you know share what's the global pass rates on an average on an average last five attempts what's the global pass rates of your acc exam for example fr is there anyone one number average percentage for fr anyone if any idea what's the global pass rate of the exam fr thank you very much amad kadeem thank you very much 50% nailed it perfect okay thank you thank you very much thank you sharia another question from my side what's the global pass rate on an average for the last five attempts last 10 att 10 attempts for your exam called tech anyone tech let's strictly focus on the skill level of accm yes anyone tech okay amad is saying 46 yeah 46 maybe 48 because it sometimes even touches 50 so maybe the average is 48 anyone who would like to second a mark or anything okay yeah pradeen 45 to 15 that let's call it 47 48 okay fine is there anyone who could tell me what's the global pass rate on an average of fm exam fm let, let me let me you know let me be a little quick even fm touches 50% even fm touches 50% okay what's the global pass rates of sbl 50% 51% 49% mostly 50% what's the global pass rate on an average for sbr 49 50 51 49 50 51 if you have got any doubt whatsoever simply go on to the accs website and the last 5 to 6 results would be displayed in front of you within no time now what's the global pass rate on an average for double a what about double a which you have to nail on 5th june 2023 well 39 38 yeah i get it 44 but then again back to 40 the average would be around 41 42% do the math so there is a yeah i i i might say 40% yeah khadeen i agree so there is a huge gap between double a 
एंड एफ आर टैक्स एफ एम एच बी आर एस बी एल दिस इज अज गैप ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट टेन परसेंट नाउ ऑल दैट थिंग मेक्स अस बिलीव दैट डबल ए इज अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम टू पास एग्रीड इट मेक्स सेंस राइट but at this oh well before i move on in pakistan the pass rate of double a is even below 35% why i am referring to pakistan because right now i am in pakistan so in pakistan the pass rates are even below okay so what do we perceive the double a is a very difficult exam right but trust me on that double a is the most easiest exam of acca now how how can how i am so sure about it and how i am going to make sure that you will love double a and how i am going to make sure that you will ace your exam on monday 5th june 2023 how i am going to make sure well i will tell you all the secrets within tonight session you just have to wait before i reveal all those solutions before i reveal all those secrets which will make you you know it is going to be a walk in the park for you the double a exam before we move on to those secret things let's quickly have a glance at the course content overall we have got seven areas in the, in the syllabus overall we have got seven areas now what are those areas the first area is called ethics and acceptance second area is called corporate governance third area is called internal audit the entire syllabus of trip the entire syllabus of double a is all about external audit but there is one little topic one little chapter which is about internal audit okay three topic the fourth topic is called audit risk and planning and this is going to be the first major topic now why it is considered as a major topic yeah i will reveal that the second major topic is called overall fifth topic is called internal control systems the third the third major topic is called substantive procedures so this is going to be the sixth topic last but surely not the least the final topic is called review and reporting so in overall we have got seven topics okay now you must be wondering as a student why out of those seven topics why i have you know marked three topics as major topic and why the other four topics are automatically or obviously the minor topics well in order to understand that we have to go on to the exam format well you know what why double a has got such a high failure rate one of the reason is right in front of you yes the exam format so dear students if you could recall if you could recall one little thing for example shahid amad kadeesh you know everyone out there sharyar if you could recall the exam format of your pm exam fr exam tax exam fm exam all those four papers have got the same exam format section a 15 to the 30 section b 3 mtqs 5 to the 10 5 to the 10 5 to the 10 and then section c 3 uh, well 2 crqs right but in the double a in the double a the exam format is a really challenging one in the section a there are going to be three mtqs each and every mtq will have five questions in it it means 5 to z 10 5 to z 10 another 5 to z 10 now as a student i would like to raise a question over here am i are you going the tutor are you going to tell me from where i am going to get the section a question and the answer is entire syllabus whether it's a minor area of your syllabus whether it's a major area of the syllabus you will get a you will get mtq from the entire syllabus so in order to prepare section a 
one has to be absolutely well prepared for the entire syllabus. Are we clear with the section A? Yes, Chair Yar, you are absolutely right. Your messages are direct, not for everyone. You are absolutely right. The exam format is 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 very different as compared to the other skill level papers. Yes, Salma, absolutely. Okay, now let's go to the section B. In the section B, we will have three CRQs. The first CRQ, total 30 marks. The second CRQ and the third CRQ, 20, 20 marks each. And I'm sure you all are you know, fully aware or you, you can guess it right, that those 30, 20, and 20 mark questions would have sub-exam requirements, part A, part B, part C. So are we clear with the section B now? Are we clear with the section B now? Well, I'm not clear. I need to add a little more. Now, those section B questions, those three long CRQs, those three long CRQs, all those three long CRQs will mainly target or mainly be revolving around the three major topics. Those major topics were called audit risk, internal controls, and substantive procedures. Almost equal weightage. The out of, you know, there are 70 marks in the section B. The audit risk, the internal controls, and the substantive procedures would have equal weightage within the section B. Now, are we clear? I hope it, you are a little more clear when it comes to section B now. Are, we, are you clear? That is the importance of differentiating and highlighting the fact that there are three core exam topics, three major topics in the AA. Are we clear? Okay, that's great. But still, I'm not done with the section B. Now, I need your participation now. It's important. It will make you realize why AA has got such a high fail failure rate, but at the same time, why I am being so confident that AA is the most easiest skill level paper. Now, concentrate. Now, dear students, Salma, Cheryar, everyone out there, could you please tell me, oh, well, I'm assuming you guys are done with TAC, or, or for that matter, I'm assuming you guys are done with FR. A ACCA allows you to take any exam in any order. You can, uh, once you are done with your ACCA part one, you can straight away go to AA because for AA, you just need FA, F3. You don't need FR for that. You don't need text for that. You don't need PM, FM for that. But it's a, just a general question. Anyone could answer that. How much you have to type during your FR final exam? For how much mark you had to type In your FR exam, what was the maximum number of typing you did? Typing on the word, not the Excel, not the spreadsheet. Janzeb, how for 40 marks? No, it's not possible. 40 marks, no. Yeah, yeah. There's a question about. Yeah, you know, you have to interpret the financial statement. Yeah, Abdul Samad 20, Ahmad 20, 15 to 20. Yeah, I'm talking about the section C. 20, yeah, guys, 20. Let, let, let's call it a day, 20. Okay, no, hold, 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 hold. How much you typed in your tax exam? If there is anyone out there who is already done with the tax, how much you typed in the tax final exam? Yes, 10 to 15 marks. Now, similarly, in the PM exam, the typing is maximum around 20 to 25 marks. And in the FM exam, the typing is, typing is again maximum 20 marks. But what about double A? Now, let's go back to the exam format. What about double A? What do you guys reckon? How much you have to type in order to attempt the full exam? How much you have to type? Absolutely, Sherry R, you are right. Your your message is again again in direct. You can make it public. Yes, absolutely, Nazula. You are absolutely right, Khadim. We all have to type 
for 70 marks on monday 5th june 2023 and this typing thing is far more challenging time consuming as compared to the spreadsheet as compared to the number crunching you know a question on drafting the financial statements on the microsoft excel or the spreadsheet is far more easier as compared to the typing as compared to the interpretation so typing is the killing factor in double a now you guys are fortunate today is what today is 15th march we have got 75 to 80 days left in the final exam if you are going to follow my instructions i can promise you that on 6th june 2023 you will share your feedback with your you know peers and your friends and your you know classmates that yeah double a is definitely a walk in the park you will you know you will send me a voice note on whatsapp sir i'm done with the double a exam the exam went smooth i knew each and everything i was absolutely confident there was no problem whatsoever but if that has to happen well a you got to concentrate for the next 10 minutes because the next 10 minutes are the last final 10 minutes of the session and they are going to be the decisive factor and more importantly you have to make few promises not only with me you have to make few promises with yourself you can cheat me if you want to but i am sure you are not going to cheat yourself final verdict why students are failing the double a exam why i'm saying that the global pass rate for fr tax sbr sbl is 50 percent but on the other hand why the the global pass rate of double a is well below as compared to 50 percent it's somewhere around 40 percent why there is a huge gap well i've got a great news for all of you i will tell you why students are failing the exam it means i will tell you the problem but at the same time i will tell you the solutions as well so it's up to you now you have to be optimistic you have to understand the problem why students are failing but at the same time you have to understand and you have to make few promises with yourself that you will not commit those mistakes so i i will tell you the problem but at the same time i will tell you the solution as well problem number 1 well anyone can guess that if somebody is going to attempt 80 mark paper and if he or she is going to score 48 are you going to clap for him or her oh you scored 48 out of just attempting 80 mark paper wow how intelligent and how you know brilliant you are are you going to appreciate him or her scoring 48 out of scoring 48 out of uh, out of 80 are you going to appreciate him or her absolutely not absolutely not and absolutely not reminds me of you know someone okay anyways you are not going to appreciate him or her because of the simple fact that he or she should have attempted the full exam now that's the problem typing speed now you want to know the solution first of all you have to realize this exam is different from your fr from your tax from your fm the typing will jump from 20 to 70 so you have to work on your typing speed now and how can you radically improve your typing speed well just like instagram.com make an account on typing.com sign up for free as a student invest one hour per day on typing.com rather than instagram.com and you have to invest you know 30 days maximum and after 30 days one hour per day straight 30 days after 31 30 days you will shine like a bright star and i can promise you on that now the problem poor typing speed i've also shared the solution now the ball is in your court i want 
all of us to be successful on monday 5th june 2023 but i need your participation and your help problem number 2 why students are failing this exam so let's consider ahmed as a student so i attended the lecture about let's say ethics from the tutor i understood everything i'm crystal clear in fact i'm so much clear that i might be able to teach it to someone good for you loving it now if you are just going to read the question and if you are going to just read the solution maybe couple of times it will not work you have to solve the question with the help of the solution using the accas practice platform so you have to practice the questions on the practice platform i am not asking you to be a writer i am not asking you to be a poet i am not asking you to you know come up with the shakespeare which is within you no i'm asking you okay consult the solution and with the help of the solution practice the question on the accas practice platform number third reason why students are failing this exam so much the pm student listen to me very carefully the pm student will focus on section a and b to to clear the exam agreed disagreed the tax student will heavily rely on section a and b the fm student will try to make sure he end up scoring or she end up scoring 40 plus in out of 60 out within the section a and b when it comes to double a all over the world the students will just the students and even the tutors will just try to focus on the crqs that is section b nobody is going to focus on section a i don't know why we are not going to commit this mistake we will pay huge amount of respect to the section a now how are we going to pay huge amount of respect to section a listen to me very carefully within your recorded content almost entire kaplan kit is available for the section a entire kaplan kit for the section a and i will make you realize how important it is to attempt the dpp kit as well i am not asking you to attempt 100% of the kaplan or 100% of the bpp kit when it comes to crqs no 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 it's not required but when it comes to section a questions the mtqs the objective questions we have to solve both kits we will even solve the section a questions within the weekly live classes so dear students if you could score 24 out of 30 in section a you can never ever fail this exam i always try and encourage to score 24 out of 30 but at least at least at least the minimum score which you should score in the section a would be 20 out of 30 is this clear as you all know acca comes up with a report once the result is out there all the failures all the failure students would end up scoring 10 12 10 12 8 10 12 out of 30 in section a and all those students who nail the exam they end up scoring around 22 24 20 22 24 is this clear clear thank you very much shahid okay let's go to the fourth problem now what do you think what do you think about the section b that section b of your exam will have approximately 10 to 15 mark which are called straight forward bookish knowledge questions define the fundamental principles of acca code of ethics and conduct define the explain that what is audit risk and the components of audit risk the definition what are the advantages and disadvantages of outsourcing an internal audit what are the components of an internal control system so you have to prepare those knowledge based questions what do i mean by knowledge based questions a knowledge based question has got nothing to do with the question itself a knowledge based question has got nothing to do with the case with the scenario with the story of the question it is as simple as it could be it is as straight forward as it could be we call it straight forward bookish knowledge now imagine all of you you have to imagine imagine you scored 24 out of 30 in section a 
मोर ओवर इमेजिन यू स्कोर्ड ट्वेल्व आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन इन द स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बुकिस्ट नॉलेज तो वॉट्स योर टोटल थर्टी सिक्स राइट How much you have attempted so far? How much paper you have attempted so far? Thirty plus fifteen, forty-five. So I have scored thirty-six out of forty-five. I have to attempt another fifty-five mark paper, and I just need ten to fifteen marks to ace the exam. Does it sound convenient to you now? Yes, it sounds absolutely convenient, and it sounds like. it sounds like a walk in the park provided we pay respect to the section a and we pay respect to the bookish knowledge and let me tell you all of you friends let me tell you one important thing section a and the bookish knowledge based items can never be prepared in the last 10 days or in the last one week of the you know before the final exam it's a slow but a continuous process people tend to ignore these factors throughout the session and at the end of the day they try to you know come up with a you know a a, a wonderful you know story and they they try to solve everything in the last week it's not going to work out okay there are exam techniques when it comes to the three major areas you don't have to worry about it i am here for you auditress i've got the technique internal control systems i know the technique and i know how to teach the technique substantive procedures i will make you understand i will not ask you to rote learn them i will not ask you to just memorize them no i will make you understand the technique and the logic behind those three major topics so you don't have to worry about the fifth reason well apart from those three major topics ethics corporate governance internal audit they also come up in the section b so we have to prepare the minor areas as well and again you don't have to worry about it because i emphasize on the minor areas as well the syllabus of the double a with me it's not all about three major topics no we are going to focus on the minor topics as well last but surely not the least how much you are going to type in your final mock exam how much are you going to type how much you have to type in your double a mock exam 70 mark it means you need a tutor someone who is expert of this subject who could mark your mock exam i am not saying it is not important the pm the fr the fm exams to be the mock exams to be marked but the marking of the double a mock exam is five times more important so your final mock exam has to be marked by any expert tutor and i will personally and i always personally mark the mock exam provided you are regular provided you are you know you know you you attend the lectures you attend you, you have to attend the mock exam and i will mark your mock exam and trust me on that if as if you are going to get your mo your mock exam marked it will give you a jump of around 10% in your final exam by the way the final exam is on 5th june it means the final mock exam would be somewhere around 22 or 23rd may so i will come up with the feedback within 2 to 3 days so you will still have 10 days or at least 8 to 9 days to improve and polish yourself is this clear so what about my plan well once you will enroll with vipi and once you will get the lectures you will start with the minor topic number 1 ethics then you will move towards the minor topic number 2 corporate governance then you will move towards the minor topic number 3 internal audit it will take a week or so once you are done with these three minor topics you will solve questions or well we will solve questions relevant to those three topics ethics corporate governance and internal audit then what then we will move towards the fourth and the first major topic risk and the questions relevant to risk then controls and the questions relevant to it then the substantive procedures the backbone of double a and the questions relevant to it last but surely not the least we will not ignore anything so we will go towards the last topic review and reporting and the questions relevant to it is this clear the plan and then comes the grand revision session leading towards the mock exam is this clear can i have confirmation on that now if somebody wants to know how do we teach at wifi well 
well, you got to listen to me this. So you will have recorded lectures, the updated one. More importantly, every Wednesday, today is Wednesday, every Wednesday, we are going to have a live class. If somebody is going to miss out that live class, well, I would hate it. But if somebody is going to miss out because of the job, family commitment, maybe because of the time differences, the recording of that live class, the weekly live class, the recording of the weekly live class would be available in your personal portal after 24 hours or so. Is this clear? How are we going to work? So now if you have got any concerns or questions, please raise them now before we before I take your leave. Any confusion, any concern? Okay, clear, clear, clear. That's great. So no confusions, that's great. Okay, a very important question from Abdul Samad. When do the live class start? Okay, at WIFI for the last six, seven, you know, consecutive sessions, I start the live class after a week. Well, why do we do that? Because students keep on joining, 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 joining. So it takes about a you know, week. So normally what Biffy does that the coming week, there won't be any live class, but from then on, we are not going to miss out any Wednesday. Is this clear? You will be informed in your WhatsApp group. Don't worry. And another request from my side, please pin the WhatsApp group, pin it up. Maybe you have got something else pinned up, but please pin this double A WhatsApp group. I bug, you know, I keep on texting in the in the group. So I, 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 I communicate a lot in the WhatsApp group. I will remind you about the homework. I will, in, you know, remind you about the concept. So you have to pin the WhatsApp group and you have to be, you know, I don't want, I'm not forcing you to come to respond in the WhatsApp group. But I, it's just that I want all of you to please listen to my voice notes, listen to my instructions in the WhatsApp group throughout the session. The time would be communicated to you about the live class. Don't worry. As far as the day is concerned, the day is final. It's Wednesday. How to join the WhatsApp group? Okay. You have to contact the WIFI's coordinator, the WIFI's admission department. The number is right in front of you. You will be enrolled. Once you are enrolled, ask them they will add you up in the WhatsApp groups. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Well, within your portal, the link might be available, but you have to ask them, they will add you. I cannot because I'm not the admin of that WhatsApp group, so they will add you up. Any other query, any other question from anyone? Zenith, you should join the batch immediately. That's my first advice. Secondly, Okay, if you've got university then you know, do not invest five hours per day on double A, but invest one hour per day. Okay, half an hour per day, you know, stick to us. Stick with double A. So, you know, bits and pieces will, will create a magic story. So, Zina, that's my advice for you. So, thank you very much, everyone. It was you know, a pleasure having you all because all of you were very much interactive and I loved it. You guys were using the chat box and I'm loving it. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best, not only for your double A exam, but the life beyond it because ACCA is not the end of the life. So I wish you all the good health and happiness beyond it. Thank you and see you soon. And if you've got any concerns or any question, uh, you, you have you can feel free to contact me on my WhatsApp. Double A course is too lengthy, not at all. Double A course is not lengthy, not at all. PM is lengthy, tax is lengthy. Double A is not lengthy. Double A is not lengthy at all. In my physical classes, the first batch, the co when it comes to you know course, the first batch which I finish is double A. Double A is not lengthy, don't worry. Just work on the why students fail thing.
Thank you very much, guys. Still, if you have got any con confusion or doubts, you are more than welcome to contact either me personally on my WhatsApp, or the second option is with his admission department. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay blessed. And I hope to see you soon. And we will make sure, by the grace of Almighty, that on 5th June 2023, you will enjoy and you will have a winning day. So, so am I. I want to have the winning day as well. Bye-bye. Take care.